Assalamu alaikum and greetings. In this video, we're going to talk about the preparation of carboxylic acid. The carboxylic acid can be prepared from these three reactions. First one is oxidation reaction, hydrolysis of nitrile, and carboxylation of green reagent. Let's take a look at the oxidation reaction first. For oxidation, we can use four compounds. The first one is primary alcohol. Second is aldehyde. Third one is alkene. And lastly is alkyl benzene. For this reaction, they're going to use the same oxidizing agent, which is potassium permanganate in acidified medium or chromic acid which can be produced from the reaction of potassium dichromate in acidified medium such as sulfuric acid please take note that in all cases we'll be applying a strong oxidizing agent for the oxidation of primary alcohol and aldehyde you might want to refer to this previous video moving on to the preparation of carboxylic acid from oxidation of alkene alkene is represented by C double bond C structure which attach to other elements or groups so in this case let's use but to in as a example which comprises of 4 carbon Please take note, it is important for the alkene to have an available hydrogen so that it can be oxidized into carboxylic acid In this example, if we apply potassium permanganate in an acidified medium it will affect the pi bond and also sigma bond of the alkene group It will later produce two compounds which attach to oxygen after the pi and sigma bond of the alkene has been broken up at this time being you may see that the product is being produced is an aldehyde since we are using a strong oxidizing agent this aldehyde compound will further oxidize into carboxylic acid do take note the hydrogen which initially attached to the C double bond O has been converted into OH in another example, if we are using an alkene group without any hydrogen attached to the C double bond C, it will result into the formation of two ketone compounds without further oxidation to carboxylic acid because there is no hydrogen to be oxidized into OH. Therefore, in order to convert the alkene into carboxylic acid, the alkene compound should possess at least one hydrogen at any side of the C double bond C. For the preparation of carboxylic acid from the oxidation of alkyl benzene, whenever we apply a strong oxidizing agent, the alkyl group will be converted into COOH. This can only be done if it fulfills these requirements. The alkyl group should attach directly to the benzene ring and secondly, there is at least one hydrogen attached on the alkyl group. Let's take a look at the example. If we have toluene and we apply it with acidified potassium permanganate, the CH3 group from the benzene will be converted into COH because the metal group is comprised of one carbon with three hydrogen attached to it. Same goes if we have isopropyl benzene, the carbon which directly attached to the benzene is here and there is an available hydrogen attached to it. Therefore, when we apply strong oxidizing agent, the carbon will be converted into COOH. The rest of the carbon for the isopropyl alcohol will be converted into set products. However, in this example, 
the alkyl group which attached to the benzene ring will not be converted to COH. For instance, a benzene with a third butyl structure attached to it will not be converted into COH because there is no available hydrogen at this position. Therefore, the purple color change of potassium perbanganate will not be observed in this reaction. In summary, if we have a benzene compound attached to multiple alkyl group, for instance, a methyl group, an isopropyl group, a third butyl group, an ethyl group, whenever we apply a strong oxidizing agent, the alkyl group will attach to the first, second, third carbon ring of the benzene will be converted into COH while the alkyl group which attached to the false carbon of the ring will remain the same. To conclude this video, carboxylic acid can be prepared from these four compounds primary alcohol, aldehyde, alkene, alkyl benzene via the oxidation reaction. All of these compounds need to be oxidized by using a strong oxidizing agent such as potassium permanganate in acidified medium or chromic acid. That's all for the oxidation reaction to produce carboxylic acid. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.